Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sherelle Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to get through this video. However, my two toddlers are asleep in the back, so we shall see. Um, but I really wanted to do a video today talking about what anxiety and stress did to me in the most extreme form um, and I think it's an important one to talk about because I feel like when we're in it, when we're in that space of having the most insane symptoms, it can really feel as though there's no way stress and anxiety can cause this, like this must be something physical, stress couldn't could not do this to me, you know, and I used to say that all the time. I used to say to the doctors, there's no way that this can be stress and anxiety. Like it has to be something, something else. Now I know now from experience that it all was stress and anxiety. Now this video is probably gonna be a little bit triggering, I suppose, because I'm gonna be talking about some really dark times in my life. Um, but I also would love for you guys at the end of this video to share your own stories of like how extreme anxiety and stress manifested in your body and what it was that you experienced and how strange the symptoms were. So for me, I think like the worst time I ever had with it was back in, it was the end of 2019 um, and I was heavily pregnant at the time and I had a couple of like pregnancy complications and um my mental health got very, very bad and my health anxiety was absolutely extreme. And I remember, oh gosh, where to start? It started with the myoclonic jerks. So I was going to bed and just like literally having these big jerky movements and I couldn't sleep and they were really scaring me. And so because they were scaring me, I then developed insomnia. And I'd never had insomnia. In fact, one thing that was never affected with my anxiety was my sleep. Um, so I was really shocked to get insomnia because I've always used sleep as an escape, you know, to get away from the anxiety. So I, I stopped sleeping. I was literally getting like one or two hours a night and I was heavily pregnant too, so I was extra exhausted and my um, my little girl at the time was, well, she was still a baby herself. And when I stopped sleeping, I then started hallucinating. Um, so I started to see things, shapes and shadows and things that weren't there. And then I started hearing voices. And when I started hearing voices, I became really scared. Um, thought that there was something very wrong with me, like mentally. And then came basically music being stuck in my head. So there was music stuck in my head constantly and it would change, like it would be like Peppa Pig, then it would be Beyonce, then it would be this and that. And like words would set it off. So somebody would say a word and my brain would associate that word with a song. And it was awful. And then... I was getting hives all over my body. My immune system was terrible. I was constantly unwell with colds, flus, coughs, viruses. I kept getting weird skin manifestations and rashes and bumps and eczema patches. Um, my hair started to fall out and get really, really thin. My gums were bleeding excessively. I was getting nosebleeds. I had blood spots all over my skin. My mouth was full of ulcers, my eyes were dry, I was having vision changes. I was twitching head to toe, uh, the left side of my face kept going numb. And I kept getting this thing at night where I would go to sleep and I would feel like I was about to faint, like I was losing consciousness or something. And I would always gasp, like, <gasps> kept doing this gasping thing. And I remember back then thinking, there's no way the stress could do this to me. Like, this is so extreme. It's so intense that it has to be a physical illness. It must be something. 
and that was, that was the darkest time in my life because I truly wholeheartedly believed that there was something very wrong with me. There, there was no way in my brain back then that it would have been all down to anxiety. So anyway, obviously I got past that and I moved on from it and now I look back and I think, wow, stress can affect us so badly in so many different ways, like head to toe. And uh, the reason why I want to do this video today is because I've been quite stressed as of the last couple of weeks, just I'm planning a wedding, I'm getting married in, in five weeks and um, there's been a couple of things, like my daughter had to see a heart, a cardiologist and I had an eye problem and there's just been a couple of things that have uh, been eaten away at me, so to speak. And what interests me is that this week I developed a cold, my joints are aching, I'm getting hives all over my body, I've got three ulcers, let me show you my ulcer. I've got three big canker sores, ulcers in my mouth, which happens when I'm run down. Um, I'm getting like crawling sensations on my skin and twitching and all sorts of madness, you know, but that is my body telling me, Sherelle, we need to slow it down. And I'm very busy. Like I, I do a lot, you know, like I, I'm a mum. So I'm with my kids all day long. And then when the kids go to bed, I then work. So um, I have like five clients a day and I do those in the evening when the kids go to sleep. And then after my last client, I go to bed. So I think where I haven't had a lot of like me time for a while now, um, my body's just run down. And I'm listening to my body. I've decided to listen. It It's trying to talk to me, right? It's, that's what it's trying to do. So I have changed a few things around with clients so that I'm seeing some of them in the daytime instead so that my evenings are a little bit more freed up. But what I really want to get from this video is I want you guys to share in the comment section of this video your most extreme anxiety symptoms, like things that made you think like this cannot be anxiety. I want to hear like the craziest stories because I think it's really helpful for other people to know that anxiety can really cause some crazy stuff and it feels really unbelievable when it's happening to you. And it's only in hindsight when you step back and look back and reflect that you're like, wow, my body was screaming at me. And anxiety wants you to listen, right? So we do have to listen to our bodies when um, it's trying to get our attention. Now, I don't mean listen to the health anxiety. I mean, listen to the fact that we need to give ourselves some more self-care and we need to learn to manage the health anxiety. Um, you know, my immune system becomes super suppressed whenever I am stressed and anxious. It's one of the first things that I notice. Like, I'll pick up colds, I'll get ulcers, um, I'll get joint pain and things that on a day-to-day -day don't usually happen to me. So give this video a thumbs up if you could relate in any way. Share your story down below in the comments um, and I'll see you guys very soon. Also, um, I'm not taking on any more weekly clients at this point. Although I do have a couple of spaces for uh, my other tiers where you speak with me once a month um, and you also get access to the workshops and the Patreon in general and all of that. So if you do want to join, I will pop the link below in the description of this video and please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.